Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is maximum frequency stack. Very easy problem. We are we have to design a stack like data structure to push elements to the stack and pop the most frequent element from the stack. Implement the frequency stack. So we have to uh, implement these functions. A push function will be given in the uh, code, and a pop function will be given in the code. We need to. Uh, what we need to do is we need to implement those. So let's see what this problem is. Let's take this test case. Uh, here, what we are doing is first of all we are pushing, push, push, push. There are six push operations we have to do, and every time we are pushing these elements five, seven, five. Seven, four, five. So at first push operation, we are pushing five. So let me uh, draw here. So basically, what we need to do is we need to make a stack in which we can push the element, and when we pop the element, we need to get the most frequent element. Now, what is this most frequent element? Most frequent element. So see, guys, frequent means which is happening regularly right so most frequent element means is the element which has the most count most count that is has most frequency so the element which is occurring which is coming more more times that will be the most frequent element okay uh, so what we will be doing is from this see from this what we know we we get to know that okay we will be storing we will be storing the frequency of each element that is how many times that element is coming okay so we'll be storing the frequency so here uh, let's let's see the test case first of all we are pushing 5 so here i have taken 5 after that we are pushing 7 so 7 is there and similarly the count is also we are storing so 5's count is what 5's uh, count is 1 initially then 7's count is 1 then we push again 5 so now 5's count will be 2 then 7 we are pushing so 7's count will become 2 then we are again pushing 4 so now 4's count will be initially 1 then we are pushing again we are pushing what five so five's count will now become three so the most frequent like if i say that i want to know the most frequent element in this here like as of now the most frequent element is five why because it is occurring more than like the maximum times there are five five is coming three times seven is coming two times four is coming one time so now there is pop there is pop operation so what will be popped like if i have a pop operation here that is give me the mo most frequent element so it should give me the most frequent element so what we will return uh, we will be returning from here 5 because 5 is the most frequent it has the most count like the largest count 5 has the largest count so now you might be thinking that uh, what if uh, what if like there is another element let's say for example here 7 also has count 3 that is both of these 5 and 7 have count 3 the frequency is 3 for both for example 7 comes here and then we need to pop let's see that case also so right now 7 is 2 after that see what is there after pop we are have to again pop right we have to again pop so first of all 5 we popped so 5's count will decrease by 1 because we have popped 1 5 so what will be there here 2 will be the count now 5 has also 2 count 7 also has 2 count now we are again popping so we are again popping now we need to know the maximum frequent most frequent element but the question is like now which is the most frequent 5 is most frequent or 7 because both the numbers have same count so when this is the case what will be the deciding factor 
earlier to was this count earlier was this count but now since the count is same for both of these 5 and 7 what will be the deciding factor the factor will be this see if there is a tie for most frequent element then the element closest to the stack stop is removed and returned meaning see this is the top right of the stack so if you arrange these elements in a form of a stack so it will be something like, like this now 5 7 5 7 4 something like this will be there so this is like these elements will be in a form of a stack now they are telling that we will be taking that element which is closest to the stack stop this is stack stop which is closest to stack top 7 is closest or 5 is closest obviously 7 is closest right this is the top so 7 is closest so we will be taking 7 so pop element will be 7 7 will be popped and its count will decrease by 1 so it will come 1 now you might be thinking that how we will know that which is the closest element that we will get, that we will be uh, we will be uh, using uh, something called as a position we will be storing position also so we will be storing position of each element like initially 5 position will be 1 for this 5 then position will be 7 then position will be 5 for this 7 uh, for, sorry for 5 position will be 3 for this 7 position will be 4 and some like this for this 4 it will be 5 ok so here for this 7 position is 4 and for this 5 position is 3 so this position is greater more more position so this will be the output for this pop now see which data structure we should use which will give us the maximum value every time maximum value meaning the this maximum count this should be the deciding factor the count so it gives us this one and if the count is same like say, uh, both the counts were same then it gives us on the basis of the position so basically for each element what we will be storing we will be storing the element like 5 then we will be storing uh, the count of 5 and the position of that 5 what's in the uh, what's the position uh, so, so, so like this we will be storing and uh, which data structure we should think of a data structure which will give us the maximum value every time first it should filter out on the basis of this count so it should give the maximum on the basis of count and if the count is same it should give the maximum on the basis of this position for example here when 5's count was also 2 and 7's count was also 2 but 7's position was 4 and 5's position was 3 so this was more closest to the top although the count was same but this was more closest to the top so this will be the output so this should be we should think of a data structure so what comes into my mind is max heap we can use a max heap okay let's see the code now and understand how we are using max heap see this i have taken a max heap in which i what i am storing is this is max heap i am storing a pair pair of integer and a pair so uh, there is a pair of integer and it's a pair uh, and map we are taking for finding out the frequency this is the frequency of each element and the position okay um, and the thing then we are doing is whenever we have to push we are pushing we are making a pair make pair is this is an inbuilt function this will make a pair of the frequency whatever the frequency is so what are we doing is this is the count this is the first va uh, value in the pair count the count this is the frequency and other one is the position and the element itself so what we are storing in the max heap we are storing the count the frequency or you can say frequency comma again a pair and in the pair first one is the uh, position because we need to, if this count is same, then we need to filter out on the basis of position. So position and the x, x is what the current, so 5 element will be stored here. This is how we will be storing the maxi. So we will be pushing every time in the maxi. 
and when we have to pop so max if will always give us the uh, item with the maximum count and if it the count is same so it will give us on the basis of position which has a greater position so pop we will pop that element and uh, then we will get the whatever the element is that element so val second second why have second second because this will be the value this will be the value na so it's second second means this pair and second of that pair which is this x the element so we are getting that element re reducing its frequency in the map and returning it so i hope you understood this problem very easy problem uh, time complexity c for push operation it's we are pushing in the uh, priority queue so it's log n log of n and uh, popping also it's log of n we are popping out from the uh, priority queue okay uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubt space complexity or uh, c it's a uh, number of operations because uh, whatever operations will be that much uh, you can say we are using uh, the priority queue and the map uh, basically the numbers which will be all the unique numbers you can say or uh, for um, yeah basically priority queue will be depending on the how many these operations are so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video